endeavor all across the world. In fact, the founding father of the University of Virginia that I attended, Thomas Jefferson, had wrote about that, had written about that at length. And so, again, as I said, it was at that moment and many, and many other moments afterwards that I realized how powerful hip hop and art in general could be in terms of uh, really bridging these types of gaps. And so, as the years went on, I found myself performing all over the U.S., performing at college campuses, uh, hole in wall clubs, House of Blues, a whole bunch of different places. Eventually, started touring internationally, performing in the U.K., Australia, and the Middle East, back home, because hip hop started to get big back home where I was originally from, in countries like Egypt, uh, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Lebanon, and even Syria. And then fast forward many years later, uh, what the media has liked to dub the Arab Spring, where essentially revolution started taking place in North Africa and in the Middle East, and eventually in my own country. Uh, last January, I was involved in an endeavor, uh, basically a song called Hashtag Jam 25, which featured a number of pretty notable artists, including Freeway, some of y'all might know him, uh, and Amir Suleiman, a really dope uh, HBO deaf poet. Uh, and a couple other artists. And uh, this, this track was essentially uh, a, a YouTube clip that we put out in the form of a song showing solidarity with the Egyptian people during the Egyptian Revolution. And this was days before Mr. Mubarak stepped down. Uh, this eventually went viral, and I found myself on Al Jazeera and up doing interviews on you know, PBS here. And there was this new sense of interest in what I was doing for the past 10 years. And then, of course, fast forward a bit more, and the revolution hit Syria, my home country. And all of a sudden, it takes on a new dimension, where I find myself in a very tight place, because my mother lives there, my sister lived there, and <coughs> things that I would say in the comfort of my home in Los Angeles or in my studio in LA could have a direct effect on the lives of my family back home. Because it had happened where people were being vocal here, activists were being vocal in the US, and it led to their family members being beaten and even murdered back in Syria. And so this music, as I came to realize it, was more than just that. And the responsibilities that came with it were huge. And so I don't take that lightly. And I respect hip-hop culture so much that I try to make it a point to tell people, look, I'm not an Arab rapper, I'm not a Muslim rapper, I'm a hip-hop artist who participates in hip-hop culture in a general sense. And this just happens to be where I'm from, this happens to be my story, and this is how I let it out. So, I got a track right here called Destiny that I wanted to share with you guys. It's actually my first video that I put up online. You can check it out online too on YouTube. It features clips of me in Beirut and in Los Angeles coming back and forth. And I rap in Arabic a little bit in it. Uh, and I want you to help on the hook here. Um, I'm not going to ask you to rap, don't worry. Just sing the hook with me. It's really simple. All you have to say is Destiny. You should get it pretty quick. Um, and if you're nervous or whatever, just picture yourself in like your shower or something, nobody can understand. Just let loose. I have a feeling we got some singers in the audience. Okay. Hello, live stream. We just met. I'm not happy to say that more as if they mess up back and have a happy man of what is in our world. 
المكان الله يرحم كل ابواتنا اغاني مثل ما هات ما لسه لنا بعيد بعيد ما صفى عن عيون الشام من فلسطين لجبال لبنان قبل ما اخترع الحدود من اسكندر لهون لكردستان فما في سبحان الله خالد ما خانونا اولاد العم بس لنا دمهم بني ادم بني جنبهم عركه احنا شلناهم وهيك الله بيعلم بس هيك بتكتاش بالسيف احسن لك من 100 مليون مسلسل بس تعرف ليه؟ لانه مو عجبهم بس انتك بس تبتسم رسمتك شابهم عربي ومصفى تعطيهم ختمتك واذا لسه مو راضيين تذكرهم كلام اللي بيقول لي الطين ساعه فلينا طين Here, come. It's hard living in the West when I know the East got the best of me. Said, could be looking in my eyes, but she never really see the rest of me now. Can you hear me? I'm silly. Violin was what I'm blessed to be here. I'm a sad man. Second is we have to deal with the end. I write right to left. You write left to right. Metaphor of a foreigner's plight. Dress the type. Stereo in a mic. Stereo of a fight. The burial of the type. Imperial of his heights. The Turkish rap is the light. Semantic etiquette of night. Just have your roll in your iris. Poetic and light. You grab a hole in your sorrows. To believe in a marvelous. Make it easier to borrow. The aesthetics you like. Like all the Arabic wanted words. And standards and marvelous. The karma. Inquisition. This is a horror. Something who's the explorer. He looks like a lungness, kind of an adresi, a rap of rock, and throw a hops and jobs, so why you figure it out? I'm gonna start with a strike, but that's the stuff of no doubt, so you might not have learned a bit of me, you sure as hell can't let out, I'm your destiny. It's hard living in the West when I know that East got the best of me, say. Could be looking in my eyes, but you never really see the rest of me now. Can you hear me, my city? Violin was what I'm blessed to be here. So this right here is a sample from a Paul Anka song. He was one of the first top two writers in the United States. Originally from Lebanon. See, I was shooting at each other from Iraq to Palestine, Syria to the Dan, Algeria to Sudan. Had a guy to be oppressed, trickling down, copying through division and sadness. This isn't the first time. One man, one love, one chance, one blood. No fuss, no fight. Can't write young blood. AK cheaper than a book. Crooked leaders in a hook. Getting fished out. This was getting dished out. By the West Press, get a big shout. We're getting rich out of this. This is really all about land, money, and power. What's the colonizers talking now? It's really just power. We've been a sour taste in our mouth. A generational slave names. Whatever speaking out, outspoken leaders getting taken out. Quicker than belligerent drunks in the bars. Are we a part proud from living this? When I say hip hop, you say one love. Hip hop. Hip hop. Hip hop. Make some noise for yourselves, yo.